And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, March the 28th, 2020. It's the birthday of the man who said if a writer could write the truth about one Chicago street, that would be a good life's work. Nelson Algren, 1909, Detroit. His father was a machinist at the Packard plant. He grew up in Chicago in the seedier side of the city, and that's what he wrote about. Billiard parlors, gambling dens, speakeasies, where the cops only visited to collect their bribes. He went off to college, graduated into the Depression. Jobs were scarce. He lived the life of a hobo for a while, went back to Chicago, moved in with his parents, and started his new life as a writer. His second novel, Never Come Morning, got good reviews in 1942, and seven years later came his big popular success, The Man with the Golden Arm, about a poker dealer battling drug addiction. It's the birthday of Russell Banks, born 1940, Newton, Massachusetts, author of Affliction, The Sweet Hereafter. He was the son of an alcoholic who abandoned the family. Banks was just 12. Banks said, Storytelling was a way just within the circle of the family for me and my brothers and for myself to save ourselves. We could make sense of an otherwise incoherent life for children. In the sweet hereafter, the novel hinges on the aftermath of a deadly bus crash in which several school children die. Banks has a fascination with school buses, which figure prominently in several of his novels. He said, the school bus is a layered, multifaceted image. It is associated, at least for me, with the first time you give your children over to the state. It's the birthday of Lauren Weisberger, Scranton, Pennsylvania, 1977. She was an assistant to the editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine and wrote a book, The Devil Wears Prada. It was a big hit in 2003. It's the birthday of Iris Chang, Princeton, New Jersey, 1968, daughter of a theoretical physicist and a biochemist. Iris became interested in war crimes committed against a Chinese village by the Japanese in World War II, which she heard about from her grandparents. She said, I was in a panic that this would be reduced to a footnote of history unless someone forced the world to remember it. So she wrote a book, The Rape of Nan. And King, The Forgotten Holocaust of World War II, came out in 1997, and six years later, The Chinese in America, A Narrative History. A year later, working on research for a book on the Bataan Death March, Chang had a nervous breakdown. She was working obsessively, unable to separate herself from her subject. She committed suicide in California, November 2004. Here's a poem by Grace Paley. Age. Frightened, fearful, afraid, older, waking in fear. Healthy, feet okay, appetite. Only teeth half gone, wrists strong, night love, waking in fear, older, old, nothing ahead. Glad to say, ah, willing, working, tired, laugh, dance after supper, knees useful, love, waking, Afraid, bad news, friends, old, sickness, becoming well, an occupation, a hope against age, fear. A poem by Grace Paley, Age, from her collection, Begin Again, published by Ferris Strauss and Giroux, and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.